Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you are all doing fine. Now, as promised in the review of this palette, I wanted to create a very summery aqua look with this Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. I mean, the color story is amazing and oh my God, the packaging. First things first, eyeshadow base using Sigma this time, creating my tiger stripes on my eyelids. <laughs> now, you guys know that I have oily eyelids and I really, really, really need to use an eyeshadow base, although I am lazy sometimes. But hey, you know, sometimes you gotta do things that you don't like or that you don't have the energy for. <laughs> really blending it out to make it a little bit more smoothly. Now I have shadows right there, so I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer up in that corner. I'm going to try to kind of like stamp it with um, a little brush using the zero zero and two shades as you can see i'm trying to keep all that color density on that one spot because this is where my eyes the darkest that's what i wanted to say man this voiceover is gonna be so sucky but hey whatever right and then i'm gonna blend it with the same brush that i used for the eyeshadow base yeah because i'm that bitch just recycle your brushes Let's take the first shade, that shitty green. Yeah, it didn't swatch well, but I'm going to use this Soeva brush because it is a really precise brush. I love it so much. I don't know the number because it's a really old one, but I use this brush for really precise work. So as you can see right here, I'm starting to map out the shape of my eyeshadow look which is really important at this stage because you really want to take your time, relax, calm yourself, you know, and really take that attention and creating that shape. Now, I am going to pack on that color quite a lot because I really want the shade to be as darkest as it can be. But you guys, I gotta tell you, um... I wasn't really happy how this shade applied. And you're gonna see that in a minute. When I was creating this video, I was like, yeah, my face kind of said it all. Um, the shade was a little bit patchy. It did not work <laughs> really easily. That was the spot right there. Um, it did not blend that much. It, it, Yeah, it was a little bit of a diva, you know? So I'm trying to kind of like fill in the blanks right here and also trying to connect that top liner with the start of my crease because you kind of have to keep in mind what your eye shape is. So I'm filling that in and as a next step, I am taking another shade, that minty matte shade, and basically trying to kind of marry the two, as they say. Oh God, I hate that word. But I'm trying to make sure that the two colors transition into each other pretty nicely. And yeah, I had to go over and over and over that part. Um, I'm fine with it, but sometimes this can happen with some shades. And definitely these two are not colliding as smooth as I wanted. Then I took this Morphe brush. Man, this brush is so fancy. And uh, I used this brush basically to pack on that minty shade and put it on my eyelid, right? And just really get that shade in there. First, I kind of like mapped out where I want it, just really slightly. And then I kind of like dug into my palette and really packed on that shade. You're going to see it right here because I was really trying to get that pigment onto my eyelid. And as you can see, this minty shade did not smooth that harsh line that I had of that darker color beneath. But elsewhere on just... A simple eyeshadow base this shade worked pretty nicely you know know what I'm saying and then I'm taking get a precision brush and I was like okay like I need to smooth out that line a little bit more and then I went back with that color on top of that minty shade to make sure that yeah that damn harsh line <laughs> It needed to go away I was really dedicated to get rid of that one okay then I took a blending brush from Nabla Ruby set and I made sure that I did not have any harsh lines on top of my eyeshadow, basically the part that goes um, really close to my brows. 
taking Jaclyn Hill brush. It's a really precise brush and really perfect to pack on some shimmer. And this shimmer, listen, I had to work it a little bit. Um, it is a really nice shimmer. It really looks minty on camera, but in real life, there's a hint of green in it. So it's a little bit more greenish than minty-ish. So yeah, but it is a really special shade. As you can see, it sparkles all the way, which I like. Then I took the dark shade and I thought, let me create some dimension onto my top lash, right? Because that's fine. My opinion, okay? <laughs> And then I thought, okay, we need to get rid of those blue spots under my eyes. So I took a little bit of concealer on my inner corner and the outer corner, and then I started blending it. I love to use a beauty blender for this part because it really soaks up excessive, uh, you know, concealer and it makes just everything so smooth, you know, I really like that. So I missed it a little bit and I thought, let me put a little bit of sparkle also on the lower side, you know, just to kind of take this look a little bit to the next level. Then we had our foundation time using this waiver brush, man. Listen, guys, I am a little bit impressed by this foundation. Let me blend my forehead first there. But I am impressed by this foundation. Why? Because it is really lightweight and it's not cakey whatsoever. It makes your skin look like skin. Like it really looks like you're not wearing any foundation whatsoever. I did a video on it. I will link it in the cards down below. And also I did a 12 hour wear test. It's my favorite foundation so far. It takes away my redness without giving me like this full coverage. And I don't mind not to have full coverage. Like I still want to look a little bit more natural, but damn, it is good. You know, it is a little bit pricey too. I think between 40 and $50. So yeah, color correcting a little bit with concealer because I still had my redness from my pimples and I am really using the same brush as I did with my foundation, you know, and I am doing these stamping motions just to really kind of stamp on that product on those darker spots that I had to make sure that I'm not going to move my foundation. And this is my favorite part. This is where like everything gets flourished on your face, the blush and the highlight. So I am digging it with my fingers first putting it on my cheeks because I don't want any bristles of my brush get into my product. And at first it looks like, oh my God, this is pigmented, but it's actually fine. You know, it's really fine when you fluff it out and you blend it for some reason, it kind of, kind of gets toned out. And then it was highlighter using an elf brush. I like this brush a lot. So I was kind of like using these back and forth motions to get the shimmer particles smoothed out and melted into my skin because if you don't do that sometimes the texture of your skin can kind of like go out there and that's not what you want you know but i'm happy as you can see it yay you know happy did the same on my nose and then we had some lipstick time and lip liner time these ones are my favorite from essence seriously oh my god i have a bunch of them a lot so i'm using really like soft motions and i feel like my lower lip is always a challenge because it is kind of slightly crooked so i kind of have to balance it out a little bit and that's gonna be almost the last step so we have our lipstick just really simple swoosh swoosh give a little bit of a kiss and that is basically the last step here's the final look I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it, okay? Because I really did my best for you. And oh my God, I'm so, yeah, it's totally give me like aqua, aqua times. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.